has all but written off this year, saying it's more important to build for the future. Trying to bring some stability to a turbulent season, the Melbourne Knights have turned to a name from the past. 64-year-old Mirko Bazic arrived this morning from Croatia and will spearhead a plan to rejuvenate the struggling NSL club. We will make a team for future. This year, no important. This year, uh, important for selection. Who can play in, uh, in our club, who cannot. With injuries to key players and the recent sacking of coach Andrew Marth, the on-field performance of the Sunshine-based club has been anything but bright. Although the Knights have an outside shot at a final spot this year, the emphasis is clearly on the bigger picture. Bozic, in fact, won't be coaching the club per se. Instead, he will be more like a consultant, intending to take over the reins next year. He's come over for a charge for the remainder of the season. Uh, his main task is to look at the team and help out with the selection of the team and, and guidance for the last few rounds. But obviously his role next year will be that of a more European type manager. He'll be looking at everything from the under nines development uh, right up to senior level. The Knights are hoping that Bozic can return the club to the glory days of the mid-90s. But whether the Knights have the money or the player list to pull that off remains to be seen. And the veteran coach is realistic. He knows things have changed from the days when his team was led by a budding superstar named Mark Viduka. Now, general manager and president told me, yes, good talent, but no Viduka. <laughs> the Knights travel to Newcastle this Friday before a huge derby clash with South Melbourne on February 16. Yeah, an interesting point, almost the same point that... Uh, Joe raised earlier about mm. maybe no talent or talent there, but no Viduka. It's the sort of thing, you know, and just they've been just looking to make themselves a name in, in themselves. And who knows, maybe some of their players might go overseas and make a name for themselves. You remember these days with some fondness, those? These were the days when everyone, I guess, used to fear mm. the Knights. Nice haircut, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these were the good old days, I suppose. Yeah, um, you know, the Knights could not do a thing wrong in those days. Uh, we just would score uh, at will and uh, take it from there. It was a super side, Jay, wasn't it? Mm. I know I played in the grand final against you. Unfortunately, you guys won down in Adelaide there. But that side with uh, Tiado and Dukes and Horvat and yourself, it was, uh, it's, it's got to be one of the better NSL sides for many years. Yeah, well, definitely. That's, that's sort of the hard thing when I'm back now in, in playing with Marconi and being part of such a great...